<sighs> it kind of fits the uh, the mood right now. <laughs> it's just raining. Miserable. That's where it is. I know. I know, guys. I know. You don't even have to say anything. I can feel your judging eyes all over me right now. I know what I said because I was there when I said it. And I could have edited that episode a hundred times. I don't know why Hippo's eggs felt right. And it still kind of does. And I'm not even going to try and save this. I know I'm a dumb and stupid. I know. <laughs> I really do know. And you know what the funny thing about that is? When you guys pointed it out, I was like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so stupid. Oh my god. Okay, so from now on, I'm always going to point out the fact that hippos actually give birth to eggs. And <laughs> so babies are born. Baby hippopotamus is born, all right? David Attenborough, he's just not telling you the real things. That's what I do on this channel. I give you the real information, okay? <laughs> and I also know in the episode, I was like, oh, I did loads of research before I went to Africa. And I still said that stupid stuff. Oh my God, I know, I know. Okay, right, we got a snake there. So, <laughs> welcome back everyone to Ancestors. In the previous episode, apart from the fact that I said something groundbreaking, which many of you guys might not have known about, Hippos have eggs. <laughs> I'm trying to save this so hard. We also messed around with the generations and with evolution. A lot of you guys basically let me know. I'm on the right track with what I said. The only difference is I've got to make sure that I lock in the mutation potential before I evolve. Otherwise, it can be lost, which makes total sense to me. So I think as of right now, we were on track for like three mutations for every single child that was born, which is kind of good going i think there's a way you can get more than that i think and everybody basically let me know in that episode about the meteorite drops as well take a baby that doesn't have any mutations and then you can get a random mutation from the meteorites which is actually kind of cool to know so thank you very much for the heads up guys i'm still i'm still kind of hung up on the whole hippo eggs i really am so what i had planned for today was to do another evolution right off the rip to see where that takes us because i have been going ahead i've got more babies more clan members and I've tried to work out how I'm getting these mutations. I think it is just totally random the way you get them when you move through the generations. But yeah, I think we are ready to go with another evolution. And then we need to kind of work out what's going on with that open area. You can't really see it right now. But where the new meteorites have landed, that open area where the sun was just scorching the earth and it was just so incredibly hot. I think there's new areas around that side or either side of that that we can discover and then basically work out a way down. Now, I'm hoping... Oh, wait. I need to eat this. Let's see what this does. Okay, yeah. It messes us up. So, I do need to get the, uh, the neural path, which gives me, I guess, resistance to the toxins and stuff like that. That is actually going to be really helpful. Oh, I have been eating more meat, too. And uh, one of the babies that we've got in this generation has the omnivorous skill. So hopefully that will be on the on the neural path too. But we are looking good. We are looking really, really good. Basically, we're going to be continuing to explore. We're going to find out where the next evolution takes us. And then from there, we're going to see how far into that direction we can go. Because I do want those meteorites. And I'm going to be obviously taking a brand new baby that has no mutations, if we've got that, over to that side too. So like I said, guys, welcome back to some more Ancestors. Thank you once again for all your love on the previous episode. I'm still having a blast with this. Like... The hippo's eggs thing, it's not distracted from, like, how much I love this. And we are going to be continuing with the adventure. So, I'm just going to make sure this guy is doing okay. And then we're going to continue and do another evolution. All right. Let's do this. Oh, okay. That's, that's like, perfect. Three feet added. 103,000 years. 10,000 years ahead. So the differential is 605,000 years faster than science. The evolution leap so far is 113,598 years. That is like perfect. And I should have locked in all these mutations now. So 12 births in total, zero deaths. The differential is 665,000 years faster than science. That's really good going. Evolution leap so far is only 173,598. That, I don't think could have gone any better. So, and that's with exploring as well. I did do a little bit of exploration that you guys didn't see before this episode. So, 
I don't think we're going to change the way we look because it's such a small jump. But that's still really good for locking in those mutations. Drop. And then carry. Oh, look at this. And then we're just walking a straight line. Now, a lot of you guys have let me know. If I do this in the water, I don't know if this speeds things up, but you guys have said you've got really good results by doing this, carrying things, and then walking through water too. So I'm hoping by doing this, it like does that. Gives us more dexterity, which is going to go a long way in helping. Oh, look at the stamina though. Ooh. How do we drop these then? Drop. Okay. Let's get our breath back. Yeah, so a lot of you guys said this really, really helped. Which is what I was looking for because I really, really want to walk on two legs. If we keep doing this then, is that like a the quickest way of, of getting that dexterity bonus? Right, so let's see what we've got up here. Echoic memory. It's possible to remember the position of one or more item of living being. Oh, okay, so we can like point out more than one cat in the area, for example, if we if we need to do that. Stability control. Oh, this is it. Maintain balance when walking in shallow water. Yeah, more stability control. Speed. I'm guessing it's got to be one of these that I've got to unlock. So, you guys know what that means. We need to grow our family a little bit. And this is all the... Yeah, this is the immunity stuff and the resistance. Yeah, the tolerance stuff. Okay. Yeah, we'll work on that. I really like the fact that we're way stronger now. And we don't need to worry too much about the predators. I mean, if I get caught cold, then that might be another story. Now I've said that, you know what's going to happen. But yeah, we're looking really, really good. So let's get back out of there. What time is it? Okay, so it's midnight. All right, I'm going to sleep away till morning. And then I think when we come back, we'll have a whole new uh, group of family members. So I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. New pregnancy. Okay, good. Right, so we got three ladies pregnant. <laughs> wow, that, <laughs> that's a sentence I never thought I'd say. And then we are looking for possibly one more. I, I was told by you guys, I think what was meant by what I read was you can possibly find more apes out in the wild and then that, that adds to your clan members. I think that's what you guys were talking about because I know I, uh, I said to myself, after the first evolution, I, I would look at that. Yeah, this area is so sketch. There's so many cats. There's snakes everywhere around here. So I, oh wait, who are you? You look like an elder though. You are an elder. Okay, and you're cold too. All right, let's grab some of these. Okay, we're not hungry, we are thirsty. So let's go over this way. Wait, so what did you need then? I saw that, like the screen went blurry, but oh, might have been rest. Oh yeah, yeah, because we got like three of the uh, ladies pregnant. So <laughs> it's probably tired. Yeah, I didn't think of that. <laughs> okay, let's go over this way. And then grab you. And oh no, this area is terrible for the uh, basalt rocks. But I wonder if I can just do that here. Poke. Oh my god, you can. Wait, shrimp. Oh, I can mimic that too. Oh, I should have done that. I'm going to have to start doing that because I want, I really want them to learn to do this type of stuff on their own. Switch hands. And then, there we go. Should be able to eat this. I should be okay eating this. It might make me feel a bit queasy. No, okay. Maybe that's because it's a different type of food then. Which makes total sense. Drop you. And then just gobble down some water. We should be golden. But yeah, that, that does make sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that again. Oh, no way. I'd have to get them sticks. So I need to teach them how to get the sticks first. And then how to do the, uh, the fishing or the poke fish thing. But we are maturing the omnivore neuron. Wow, that was a tongue twister. Oh my god. I know you guys haven't seen this for a hot minute, and I know a lot of people enjoy it, so we'll let it roll out. Look how adorable that thing is. Another 15 months later.
I can't get it out of my head though, but if anybody has got like a cat or a dog or anything and they're like the mischievous type or any kind of pet, I guess. Every time I see this, it just reminds me of them. <laughs> like my dog. <laughs> I'm sure it does the same for you guys too. You know they're up to something. All right, so there we go. New babies. So we got one, two, and three, which is like perfect. And what do we get with that? Spontaneous genetic mutation settlement. Come on, give me some more. And therapeutic medication. Ooh, what's that one? That sounds like it's going to be really good. Okay, we got two then. So which one of you doesn't have the mutation? That's the one that I want to take. And then I've basically got to do that process all over again where the uh, the females get pregnant. I think I think they should be still be fertile. Let me see. Yeah, they're fertile still. So yeah, I got to find basically the babies that don't have the mutation and they're the ones that I'm going to go out with. So end expedition. And just like that, we've got one, two, three new additions to our family. Ooh, intelligence. Nice. I would love speed. I like the fact that we can get, like, speed as we're evolving. I don't know what it is about that. Okay, we only got one. So I wonder why that is then. I mean, obviously, once I go through the uh, the generations, that's going to change. But I wonder how you take advantage of, like, all of the mutations possible in the in the one sitting of all the births, if that makes sense. I don't know how to do that yet. Or if it's just totally random, then that would make sense too. That is enough of expanding our family. I've got the two babies with me right now that don't have any uh, genetic mutations. So if we are to find any of these meteorite crashes or the rocks, then you guys have said that there's a potential you can get a random mutation from that. Wow, I love the lighting when it's like this. I'm sorry, guys. I know that might not be <laughs> the most interesting thing, but sometimes when the light catches this, it looks so good. Mostly in, like, jungles in survival games or forests or anything like that. You guys, I'm sure you guys know exactly what I mean by that. When the light catches it just right, oh, my goodness, it can look so good. Oh, a lot of you guys were answering as well about the uh, the falling from heights. Got to be careful with that because you absolutely can squash your ape. <laughs> I pretty much guessed that that was a thing. With the, uh, with the war. I, apparently, you can see it on the ape's face. But because I'm always this way, I don't see... I don't see that. There's a stone over here? What is that? Okay, we got the snake, but that's not... It's not what's making the noise. I always wondered this. Wait, what are you? You're moving. It's another snake. Okay, I'm not too worried about it. It's just that it's going to catch my attention a lot moving through this area. I think you guys will recognize where this is now. This is basically... Oh, no. <laughs> Should we go and have a look and see if we can find some more hippo eggs? <laughs> so stupid. Oh, my God. You know what? It's a thing. Just embrace it. It's fine. Grab that. And then we're going to strip it. <laughs> I'm never going to get over that. Eat one of these. We're good. Drop the other one. It actually saves the sticks that you've made earlier, even though you're evolving. So, like, even the previous ape, which is a hundred, technically a hundred thousand years ago, even longer, because that would have been like a second evolution. The sticks are still here. Good to know. That's fine. Okay. That is a little bit weird, but, I mean, I'll take it. And look what it is. Let's just move straight past that. How many pigs are there? Four, five different... Oh, no, that's a rock. So, yeah, like four pigs. A lot of you guys do want to see the uh, the interactions between the animals as well. I'm right there with you. If I don't get to do that throughout this series, I will 100% go back and do that. Because I do, I do... I think that is one of the coolest things about Ancestors, the fact that the animals can interact with each other. I actually tried it in the previous episode. I just didn't show it because it took way too long. But I did have the cats close by. And there was two of them right next to each other. But they didn't, like, fight. I don't know why. But you guys have said that's also a thing. So maybe I just wasn't, like, doing it right or leading them in close enough. Can I get a drink of water here without having my head taken off? Yeah, I don't think I can. All right, let's just keep it moving. As annoying as this is, this kind of effect... Being chased down by a hippo or a croc is probably worse. So let's go around this way. 
Oh, there we go. That works. Just let it run out. And there's the smoke from one of the meteorites. So I guess we'll just keep heading in that direction. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, there's a cat here. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh this way. Please keep the sticks. Nice. We still got them both. And there's another one here. Oh, yes. Please. Oh, yes. I was just talking about this. Oh, he's smacked in the face. Oh, did that actually leave like a, a scar across his eyes? Oh, that's so sick. Where did they go? So there wasn't a winner there. It was more like a, a territorial fight. I love that. I love, love that. I wonder if you can do it like for every animal too, like the uh, the snakes, the hippos. No, maybe the hippos won't do it. I think the snakes might. We've also got the, uh, the, the horses up there. We need to work out if they've got like some kind of animation too. But yeah, like I said, if there's a way I can do that or if I don't get to do it in this series, then I'll absolutely go back and do it because I do love seeing those. There we go. Got ourselves a chopper now, and I can drop you. I'm going to keep it in the left hand, I think. Keep that one in the right. So this is kind of what I've been rocking as of late. Just keeping a chopper in my left hand, and then the uh, the sharpened stick in my right. I don't mind having one of the, uh, the the hard bones, though, as well, like you can get from the, the bigger prey. But I think the sticks are probably better right now because of that weird, like, evolutionary thing that I have in terms of taking an animal down. I don't think I can do that with the bone, so... Yeah, it works this way. We seem stronger too. I don't know if it's just because this is a younger ape, but the stamina drain doesn't seem as immediate with this guy. Maybe he's just an absolute beast. Let me have a look at him. Yeah, there's nothing on him that, that seems... Whoa. <laughs> he's fathered a lot of uh, ape. Look at that. All six babies. He's basically the... Uh, He's king ape right now. Okay, so we got a cat here. I do want to experiment. I am a little bit terrified because I know there is a chance that these things can nail you if you don't get the uh, the quick time things right. But I think it's worth it because I want to know if the evolutionary change with the uh, the fighting has stuck with us. So let's go. Now, are we going to jump on its back? No, we're not. Okay, so maybe it is a case that there's just a chance. And the more that I see those ones, they do look different than the one that was chased off before. So maybe they're like a different species. We can just grab another stick. And now that we've got the chopper too, we can make another sharp stick really quick. No problem. Got two meteorites in that direction. I wonder if one of them's closer. Yeah, that one looks like it's right there. So we'll see what's going on with that in just a second. Switch. Alter. And one. It's like five hits. Two. Three. Four, five, okay, maybe six, <laughs> seven, there we go, that works, use seven hits then, close enough, we also unlocked a load more brain juice, I saw that when we were doing it with the, uh, with the stick, so, okay, it's just there, we drop down here safely, I'm, again, I'm terrified, anywhere new, which I know where this is, this is like the siblings waterfall, probably my favorite part of the, uh, of the map so far, but it's just, Terrifying that we've seen massive prehistoric crocodiles all over the place and we're just going through their territory like that. That is their domain. Get away from that ASAP. There we go. There's the meteorite. So let's see if this actually works then. I'm going to place you on the ground. Actually, both of it because I don't want anything to interrupt it and inspect. Let's see what happens here. this should give us another reinforcement point as well. There we go. New landmark discovery. Over the caves meteorite site. So we can take that if we want. I can leave it there as well, which I'm going to do for this one because we're going to keep it going. I wonder how that changes things. So we're not seeing it straight off the bat, like with the, uh, the discovery of that meteorite. So maybe, maybe it's over the next generational change. I don't know. It could even be that there's a chance that the uh, the babies develop some kind of mutation. Growing neuron. Senses. <laughs> okay. We get all the senses. Is there going to be more? Oh, yeah. There's more. So we are just 
pumping loads into that right now. Look at all that brain juice in the lower right corner. I'll take it. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. That little ravine. Oh, oh, grab that. Oh, no. What have I done? Get across there. No, no. Okay. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. All right. I have to mess around with stuff. Like, I can't just keep it simple. <laughs> I've got to... Whoa. We just found a cave? What is that? Okay, let's get our breath back. And then... Oh, I thought that was like a cave there. What you do? I always have to mess around with stuff. I saw a clear path down the other way. I was like, no, jump for this area because there's a chance that you might fall and drown. I am that person that does that. Like, I just am. <laughs> I've got to take a risk all the time. Should be okay, though. Oh, okay. Let's let's just not... Yeah, that's fine. That is one hell of a drop, too. Yeah, no, we're good. Big old snake over there. I'm going to test this again. <gasps> oh, get up. Get up. Oh, we're okay. We're okay. Oh, my eyes were pinned on the stamina then. And drop down. All right, let's get our breath back. A little bit too close. That is a big old drop. Like, not just to this one here, but look at that down there if I didn't have anything to grab onto. Ooh. Kind of want to go down there now, too. All right, come here, snake. I want to see if I can take you out. Let's do this. And... Oh, right on the head. Wait. Did I get it? Oh, yeah, I did. Straight through the dome. You feel so powerful when you do that. Have we still got the uh, the chopper? Yeah, we do. As long as we've got the trees around, we are still golden. These are all the leaves, the hiding spots. It's so nice having that change now where I can scan one thing and anything else of the same type, it just it, it unlocks it as well. Oh, it's so nice. And then alter this. Let's go ahead and make ourselves another sharp stick. Oh, I heard... Oh, I smacked it with the chopper. <laughs> it's never not funny to me, that. The fact that I didn't have the stick in my hand either. Wait, can we still do... Yeah, there we go. And now we got the chopper stick. It's never not going to be funny to me, that. The fact that you can just take a rock and just beat the hell out of something. Oh, I need to do this too. I know a few of you guys said it's definitely worth eating the eggs. So that's what I'm going to do. We've got water all around me as well. So, oh, look at that as well. Like, it's not a bad effect. That's more like an uncomfortable stomach. It, like, a li that's where it gets worse. But that's fine. Still going to go ahead and eat all of these. I should do this anyway. For the simple fact, anything looking around this area, they know that snake is patrolling this territory. And if they see me eating this, they're like, whoa, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I don't want to mess with that thing. It not only took the snake out, but it's eating its eggs. All right, let's go find some water quick. That's really cool seeing the clouds do that. There we go. We rested. Yeah, we seem good. And just as a quick heads up to anybody else that might be new, you can fall asleep with things in your left hand. That's how I know that I'm not going to basically leave this anywhere or <laughs> mistake where I've left it. Because you, uh, you can sleep with things in your left. But with your right, it seems to be a little bit funny. It doesn't quite let you do that. So just remember where you leave it. And then you can go back to it. All right, we're going to go around, I think, this way. Yeah, let's go to that one there. Let's have a look at what this area is. I'm hoping for something new. Like, I don't mind this area either. It's just that there's not a lot of shade. So I'm keeping my eye on the temperature as well. Because that is more than likely going to be brutal for our apes. Something's telling me as well that it's about time that we got ourselves some honey as well. That's like a miniature pride rock. I mean, this area, it, it doesn't get more perfect than this. I can see predators coming from a mile off. Look, there's things here that I can make the chopper with. It's banging on that chest. Nice. And can we discover it? I don't think we can do it from here. Gotta get a little bit closer. Actually, let's do this right. Let's go up on the log. Again, it looks like a nice area for a settlement, but it's kind of like the oasis where we were a while ago. Oh my god, that made me jump. Oh, you scared the hell out of me then. Okay, it's not jumping on the back of it. Maybe I still have to unlock that because I evolved. 
But ooh, you've never done that before. All right. You want to stay in the area? Let's do this. <laughs> What's going on? Whoa! Nope. Okay, move, 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 move. I'm gonna try and hit him in the head with the uh, with the rock. And oh no! Oh no 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 no! <gasps> okay, we're getting that dexterity bonus, but yeah, that's that is. Wi oh, if I drop the uh... oh no, I've dropped it. Where is it? Where's my little rock? Is that it? I think that's it. Right, let's have a look then. So, what is down? that way there's nothing down there nothing at the i'd love to go to the top of that don't know if we can though right down there is going to be the next one and it's just there can i climb back up there if i go down there oh this is going to be a whole new question look at the drop we're doing it oh oh okay no we're good we're good we're good we're good drop yeah we're good Okay, don't be anything... Whoa. Are you those... I think you might be a new food source. Let's have a... Inspect to these. Whoa, what's going on? Inspect. There we go. I have no idea what they are. What is that? A carissa berry. Eat it. It's delicious. I can already tell. Look at the juices coming out of that thing. Oh, give me another one of them. It looks like... Oh, no, I thought there was a plant on there, too, that I could eat. Like, maybe the red plant that was on there as well. Nothing else there. This big rock. Oh, I'd, I'd love to visit that rock as well. But, yeah, let's just keep it moving to where we said we were going to go to. All right, we're all scared. That's fine. Let's get onto this rock. Ooh, that sound every time. Stand up. Scan these. And, oh, watch how much this fills this up now. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was almost all the way. Oh, yes. And then this one. And then maybe one more. Might have to go a little bit further out. Yeah. A little bit further this way. Look how quick that is now. Like, the exploration side of it is a piece of cake. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> what else we got? There we go. Look at all of this. Whoa. Not that. But these... That's what we want. I can actually mark two things now, so it's not really a big deal. Let's conquer our fear. Another new area. And what are we called? Oh, look at that with the sun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. You love to see it. Yeah, that's actually quite a distance away. It might not look it, but it really, really is. Let's head over to that direction where a lot of the greenery is. That is one hell of a climb, too. I kind of want to do the climb because I know there's that oasis up there. And what was that? Oh, now I have to explore. Wait, let's get in the shade for a second. Got some sticks there. Oh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of new noises coming from this spot. I might be speaking too soon, but I'm not seeing the heat affect us right now. It is only 8 a.m., but that's a really, really good sign. So it's not hot all the time here. Okay, there's a way back up there. Is that a cave? Oh, oh, there's the heat. Spoke too soon. Oh, what's that going to do to us? I do need to know if we can get into any kind of shade in this area. What about in the plants here? Can we just take the edge off a little bit? Like there. Is that going to go away? No. No. Okay, yeah, I guess it's got to be shade. Like, actual shade. There's no water over that side. Ooh, we could be in trouble here. What is that plant? Wait, wait. Drop you. What are you? Is that aloe vera or something? New tool discovered. Aloe leaf. Ooh, wait, can you eat? I'm sure you can eat aloe. I might be smoking crack with that, but I'm pretty sure that you, you can... You can eat aloe. 
and I know you can get a cold resistance from this plant, so I wonder if that affects the heat too. Oh, we're doing experimentation right now, guys. Okay. Whoa. Is that? That's not the plant I think it is. Okay. No, it is. Okay, it's just because we're going into an unknown area. Okay, got it. Eat that. Eat that. So that's a cold buff. Yeah, okay, so it's not doing anything for the heat. Okay, if it was cold, I wonder... Oh! The aloe! I wonder if the aloe has anything to do with it. Alter. Ooh! Okay. Inspect. New tool discovery. Aloe sap. Oh, wait. No way is this going to give us the... I'm looking at that heat thing in the lower left. Yes! Oh, we've got such a big brain. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. I think I've redeemed myself with the hippo eggs thing. Okay. Well, <laughs> have I done that? This is actually really cool because it's like we're applying sunscreen <laughs> to our ape. Look at that. Just dabbing himself down. And then... Boom. We are golden. Right, let's grab our stick. And grab this. Okay, so rather than going that way... We get anything over that way? Wait, let's have a look. Stand up. Yeah, there's an there's another one of those areas that we can discover, but that is quite a distance away. Let's see what's down here. I feel invincible now. We've just worked that out, guys. I'm gonna get overly cocky, and something terrible is gonna happen. There's probably all kinds of things down there as well. Yeah, look, they've got that. And oh, this is where we're headed. Okay, yeah, let's get back over there then. Oh, it's the savannah. That's probably why I didn't see the uh, the name of this area pop up before. You guys already know me by now. New shiny thing. <laughs> I'm gonna get distracted by it. I can't help myself. Right, so... <gasps> oh, the stick broke. No, 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 no. Don't stay in this area. <gasps> no. No. Can you imagine what kind of meal this thing is gonna have if it gets its hands on me now? Not only will it get an ape, which it's probably never had before in this area, but it's also an ape covered in aloe sap. It'd be like a cat licking something off of, like, a treat or something like that. Oh, leave me alone. All right. Smack it in the head. Get out of here, cat. Leave. Know when you've lost. Live to fight another day. Right, we're going this way before it gets too late. I want to get over this side and then... Oh, that's actually really far away. That other one might have been closer. I might have made a bit of a mistake here, which... No, okay, no, no, no. That's that's not that too far away. Okay, we can get there. Ooh, what are you? Whoa! Some, like, antelope or something. Focus. New wildlife discovery. A Dorcas gazelle. You got massive necks. And what are those things in the ground? Oh, there's going to be spots. Where is that? I think it's a green mamba just in the ground. Oh, yes. Just one of those pokey holes? Scorpion. There we go. Okay, I never got to show you guys these last time, but yeah. There's the scorpion. So let's switch hands and then... Oh. Yeah, I suppose we can just do that. Right. We're actually going to eat this. I want to know what happens. It tastes good. All right, we're a little bit sick. That's fine, though. That's a another food source that we can have. Oh, look at that. The tail. The stinger. I'm actually going to... Oh, listen to the music. I'm actually going to eat another one. 
And that one's going to make us sick. Okay, so I understand the way that works now. You're right on the edge of really not feeling good. But the kind of... Um, it, oh! Oh my god. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, right. Understanding how the food works is, is cool and all, but I think I've just found Wildebeest or something like that. Yeah, there's, there's no way you guys charge me, right? <laughs> if I get annihilated by a gazelle... I'm ending the series right here. Oh, look at them, though. <gasps> They're huge. What are you around? Obsidian? Oh, you're actually... You're a pretty big animal. Ooh, okay. Ooh, do we do this? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to leave that alone for now. You're okay. And then... Put that one there, too. Because my uh, my ape is, is really feeling it right now, I'm just going to go and do this. I'm going to try and get a couple of hours in. Because we do feel exhausted. I'm getting that like little sign that lets you know. Oh, look at the uh, protection from the heat. That lasts a good amount of time. I wonder as well, seeing as though the heat is not actually on us right now, if that is the reason why it's lasting so long. Like, it's not really uh, soaking up the sunscreen, <laughs> so to speak. All right, let's see what you guys do. Here we go. Ooh, there we go. New wildlife. African buffalo. Where did you go? You got a limp? Right, where's my uh, sticks? Right, let's get some of these. I think I'm going to try and take one of these down. Yeah, that's an unknown area. That's fine. I'm just grabbing a stick. Ooh! There's a little noise that comes from our ape. And it sounds just like what Caesar does in the movies. Come on. I see the... Oh, he's limping. Look at him. Sun's just peeking up too. All right. Come back here. No, no, no. Don't you circle around back. I will take every single one of you down if I have to. There you are. Oh, no! Oh! <gasps> Okay, that w that might be the coolest one I've seen so far. I mean, the crocodile was cool, like when it goes, like, and it throws this stick inside its mouth while it's attacking. But oh, that's so sick! Okay, right, let's let's study this thing. What are you, massive animal with horns? It must be so weird for animals to see each other for the first time. Like, what are you? <laughs> it must be so alien to them. And. Whoa, what was that sound? Right. Give me some of this good stuff. What do you think about this? Huh? What do you think about that? You grossed out? Yeah. You guys have got a predator in the area now. And I like the way you taste. <laughs> it's actually really good for us too. Look at this. It's all working out. What are you getting upset at? Okay, I understand. Yeah, you, you probably don't. <laughs> what are you getting upset at? <laughs> it's right there. I get it. Leave me alone for a second, though. I got some stuff to do. I want to know if there's a uh, a bone that I can take. God, that looks so good. Can I hit you with a rock? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Remember that thing before when I said we're going to get too cocky and... Yep. It just happened. Oh, no. We're so far away from anything as well. Wait, did I see some red plants back over that way? Let's go over here. Okay, yeah. I may have outstayed my welcome in this area now. I do want to know if I could take that meat back, though. We're okay with the, uh, with the sun protection. Those guys are so cool. I'm so glad that we found those today. And it's also good to know that there's more stuff that you can find. Oh, the meteorite is actually not that far. Yeah, we're going to keep it going then. Ooh, shiny thing. What are you? Inspect. What is that? Is it good? Do it have healing properties? Okay, yeah, it's, it's got the uh, the anti-venom thing. 
What is that? Another pig? We... Oh, that is not a pig! That is a hyena, I think. That's a hyena. Oh, oh you... listen to it. I was going to say to you guys before when I was over there, I could have swore that I heard something laughing. Smell. Let's see if we can smell it. Focus. What is it? We don't know. Oh, I've got to fight it. Oh, it's quite big compared to... Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's really good. Like, yeah, that's messed that thing up. Hyena. Again, another animal that is super, super cool. Really, really is. Discovered a new action. Strike and sharpening stick can be used to strike a hyena. Have we got any sticks in the area? Oh, we're getting everything today. Like, all of the dexterity that I could ever want, we've pretty much got in this episode. I saw you limping. Oh, there it is. Killed a hyena. Oh, it's over for you. Nice. You are done. Okay, so we've taken down a buffalo and a hyena in this area. Oh, that's so good. That's so, so good. Right, let's inspect this thing. We could have got quite a lot of brain juice from like all of the discoveries we got today, but seeing as though we're out, we're doing it all in one go. It's fine. New gathering spot, hyena carcass. Oh. Alright, there we go. We got another bone. So we'll leave you there for a second. And give me a little bit of that meat. Oh, it's going to taste good. That tastes like we're dominating this entire area. And we are becoming the apex predator of the savannah. Not, not really, but <laughs> still. Still. Just trying to distract you guys from the whole hippo eggs thing. You know? <laughs> still burns real deep. Oh, yeah. Look at all those unlocks. Right, what are you? You are laceration prevention. Oh, that could be really good, especially with the cats. So what did we find up here that we liked? It was this one, right? Carrying ability. Yeah, we'll get that. Because that's going to be uh, really, really helpful with the dexterity as well and possibly with the, uh, the two legs. Like, I'm thinking one of those two. What are these? Rusting aim. <laughs> Grow up. Once connected, the success rate of an attack on an irascible animal will increase. Okay, let's wait. And thrusting aim. Okay, right. Let's get this one because this is the one I said that I really wanted. Oh, that takes quite a lot, but this might be really good. A dose of dopamine is secreted following the success of dodging and counterattacking. Yes. Give me all that. And there was one down here too. No, okay, so I've still got to unlock these. That's fine. So again, eating all the things is going to do that. we got all these potential genetic mutations. And where was the other one? Oh, it's this one. Grasp control. Once connected, chance of dropping an item. Yeah, I'm going to get that as well. Do you know what would be really, really nice right about now? An aloe plant. If we can get our hands on some of that. That would be quite perfect. Oh, hello. All right. You want to do this? Oh! <laughs> it looked like he jumped over the rock and I just smacked him away. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. You're not getting away. And... Oh, they look so good. I wonder if I keep fighting him with this because it doesn't break. Wait. Oh, my dopamine level is going down, though. All right. Let's just keep it moving, then. Come on. Saw him coming in on my six. Thought I wasn't wise to it, but we was. You see your tricks. And drop you there. Oh, wait, before we get that, what are you? It's a new food sauce. The hell is that? Okay. Oh, it's a yam. <laughs> Let's snack on the yam. Is it good? It's got to be, right? It's got, that's got to taste so good. Okay, I was a little bit worried that the, uh, the discovery of that wouldn't help, but it really has. Right, let me just see something then. The Carissa Clearings Meteorite Site. So that's there as well. 
and grab you. All right, what's over that way then? I want to know if there's any uh, any crocodiles in these waters here. It's not that it's not that I'm uh, not scared of them. It's that I want to know if there's anything to be scared of. If oh wait, that's a hyena over there. Oh, I'd love to see a croc take down a hyena if we do have some here. Ooh. What? What did we just get a little bit scared of then? What? Oh! Oh! The cat was trying to sneak up! Oh, yes! Oh! Yes! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, my God! Oh! Oh! No! Get going! Oh my god! That is so, so sick! Oh, there's a hyena there too! I've got to do it! Over this way! And... Oh, come on! Crocodile, come on! I'm gonna keep, like, diving this way! Get closer! Come on, Croc! Come on in! I've not got all the stamina in the world, please! And... Get it! Yes! Oh, we got another one! Wait, what? Oh, there it is! <laughs> oh! 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 Okay, yep, okay, yep, 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 yep. I know, I know, I know! Oh, I know! Oh! Get up there. Oh, I'm sorry, big guy. Messing around with a prehistoric croc. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, okay, get your breath back. You're gonna go back over to where you're more comfortable, right? Oh, look at him waddling away. That was so incredibly sick. The cat thing, oh my, that blew me away. Like, I heard, well, I saw the dopamine level going down, and I was like, wait, what is that? There's something in this area that is going to try and sneak attack me right now. Is this what we need? Yeah, it is. Give me that. And then the minute that I saw, like, I think it was like the front paws or something, and then the animation kicked in of the crocodile snatching it. Oh, that's so cool. Because it gives the impression that, like, it, the crocodiles were watching me, and then something got even closer than me. It was like, oh, we'll sell for that. Whack! And it just took that thing down. You saw the face. Oh, it's so sick. Those little moments in this, they put such a huge smile on your face. Because you don't feel... I know this sounds silly saying it, but you don't feel alone when that happens. You feel there's more life going on in this world, and it's so cool. All right, there we go. All right, where's my bone? Let's pick this up. All right, we'll have another one. We're good. Get the bone back. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is just before the savannah area. I basically went ooh, the other way around, though. We can tangle with those hyenas, no problem. Now I've got this uh, this bone, so. Woodland swamp. Okay, so this is the woodland area then, right? So we've come out of the jungle now. We're into the woodland area, and then it's the savannah. So the three different, I guess, biomes. The swamps look so still, but we've just seen what's lying in them. <laughs> and no joke. Is that the carcass? It is. It's the carcass down there. Yeah, I'm not going near that. Look at what I've just found. I think this is the feeding area from the cat that came in. <laughs> Unless this is another one, but... That's cool to find. Right, we got some of the... Uh grass. Yeah, we do. Let's get over here, get our hands on this. I'm being way more confident now. Like, you know what I might even do? Yeah, let's do that. Let's prove a point. We took you out, cat, and now I'm stealing the, uh, the place where you used to lay down and rest. Making my new bed there. Maybe camping out on your, uh, your feeding grounds. Get this too. And that should be all we need. Oh, there we go. I thought it disappeared. Start construction. Look at the confidence. <laughs> Just making a new bed. Right. Let's see what else we can lock in. Because, again, we got a lot from that. 
And sensory memory. Inspection of quality of food sources faster. Oh, yeah. Wait, what was that one? Was it this one over here? It was that, wasn't it? Okay. And there was one over this side, too. You dodge all those. Once connected, the items will always remain in your hands after a dodge. Ooh. I think that goes without saying. We got to get that. We're filling out a lot of this now. Still need to work on this down here. This is uh, going to be crucial for the omnivorous stuff. Yeah, look at that. All the metabolism things. Oh, yeah. We just got to keep eating everything. Get used to it. We've also got to work on getting these mutations done. So, the expansion of the family as well. So, we can lock them in. But, guys, what do we have? Ten reinforcements now. That is crazy good. So, yeah. We're going to get a lot of mutations. We're going to get a lot of these things locked in. So, that that's so good. That's like the best news we could have had. We've seen a lot of new animals as well. And those cool animations that we talked about literally at the start of the episode as well. So, hopefully this was enough to prove to you guys that the hippo eggs were a mistake. If not, then I guess that's my curse <laughs> from this point forward. But, if you guys have enjoyed this... Really? You want to do this? I've not actually seen that yet with the... Uh... With the with the bone with the snake, so let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's get out in the open. All right, you're about to find out. There it is. <laughs> Hard bones can be used to strike an African rock python. Oh yeah. But yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, and I still hope you are, then please drop a like on the video. It really helps me out. Subscribe to stay up to date with everything, and of course, so you can continue with me on this adventure. And I'll see you all in the next one.